What is up everybody? I'm no Lux Given and today we are going to be looking at my Lapras team in the Ultra League. Now in my previous video I broke down some of the strengths of this team. It got me to rank 9 and it got me my longest streak ever. And in this video I just want to take a look at some highlights, some of my best battles from that first half of the Ultra League in Season 2 before the extended downtime because of some exploits in the Go Battle League. My team, again, in this video is going to be Giratina, Lapras, and Registeel, and you can find the movesets for these Pokémon in the video description. In the first video, I basically broke down the basics of this team. So why is it good? When is it good? What are the reasons that it's strong? And these three Pokemon, I think, are all just super powerful. Pokemon are good in a wide variety of matchups, and a lot of times you will find a team that is just not prepared to handle one of these three Pokemon. In this video, we are going to look at when things maybe don't go as right, when we catch a bad leading matchup, but still the strength of the team is able to turn it around. So let's get into the battles now and take a look at some of my favorite ones from the first half of the Ultra League in Season 2. So in this first battle here up against Dan, we are playing against a Togekiss. And I'm going to go ahead and switch to a Lapras. Obviously, my Lapras and my Registeel would both line up well against the Togekiss, and my opponent's going to meet that with a switch into Polyrath. Now, both of my Pokemon in the back are weak to Polyrath, so this can be a pretty tricky team to deal with. Polyrath is also pretty good against Giratina, as we'll see in a second, but I'm just going to fire off some not very effective Surfs, and I'm not going to shield at all with my Lapras. So... This dynamic punch is going to take me out. I'm going to go back into Giratina, and I'm also going to be eating these ice punches. So we are taking a lot of damage here, and we are definitely losing things to start this match off. But basically, I am just hoping now that Reggie Steel can uh, carry me throughout the rest of the match here. I'm going to try to farm down this Polyrath, but it is going to get off one last Ice Punch. So I'm in a pretty tricky spot here. I just go ahead and switch into Reggie Steel so I can at least get a little bit of energy on it. And my opponent's final Pokemon is a Cresselia. So Cresselia and Togekiss. And we have a Registeel with two shields. My opponent does also have two shields. So this is going to be a little bit of a match here. But I think I will probably wind up using my Giratina as a third shield of sorts. And I just know that I have to save my shield so that Registeel doesn't eat a um, flamethrower. Uh, I don't want Reggie Steel to eat the Togekiss's flamethrower, so we are going to see the Togekiss come back in and kill off the Giratina now. I will fire off one flash cannon at the Togekiss, and I'm actually able to take it down there, surprisingly. Uh, the Togekiss really didn't have much energy on it because they switched it out immediately, so they weren't even able to get to a flamethrower. And now Registeel should pretty easily be able to clean up this Cresselia. Cresselia doesn't have any moves that hit for even neutral damage against a Registeel. So we are going to be able to take this Cresselia down. And despite being up against a pretty tough team, that's kind of what I was saying about just the strengths of these three individual Pokemon being able to carry me in some games. Now we're going to look at a Giratina Ditto matchup, and we are both firing away with Shadow Claws. So I'm going to go ahead and shield this first Dragon Claw here, and I imagine my opponent will do the same. So typically in a Shadow Claw Giratina Mirror, I'm going to lose every CMP. My Giratina has really good PvP IVs, so it winds up losing the Mirror. So both of my other two Pokemon are actually really good against Giratina, so at some point I am probably going to try to switch over to Lapras or Registeel. That's how I like to play 
the Shadow Claw mirror in general. So I bring up Lapras to swap and I don't get the swap. So my opponent is going to be able to take me out with their Dragon Claw. I am still able to bring in Lapras and farm them down, get a little bit of energy on Lapras, but this isn't great. So my opponent brings in a Snorlax after that fact. And the one thing that we do have going for us here is shields are down completely. And it looks like my opponent is deciding to go for body slams against this Lapras. But shields are down completely, which means if I can get an energy lead on my Registeel, we might still be able to pull out a victory yet. And I am ahead on energy here. Um, and it actually benefited me by... Uh, losing my Giratina first, I was able to get a little bit of an energy lead. Now my opponent's last Pokemon is Swampert, so this can be pretty scary. Swampert's going to hit my Registeel with an Earthquake here and deal a bunch of damage, but we will get off a Focus Blast, and then my opponent has to be in a pretty tricky spot right now because if they just kill my Registeel, my Lapras is easily going to be able to kill, come in and kill their Swampert. So we come in, we get that Surf, we already had a bunch of energy preloaded, they just used a Hydro Cannon to kill our Registeel, and there was not really much that they can do. So that is basically a pretty common team that you will see a lot in the Ultra League is Swampert, Snorlax, and Giratina. And that team really doesn't have an answer to Lapras. That's a team that I showed off uh, playing against in my first video as well. But yeah, some teams just don't have the answer to Lapras. And as you saw in that first clip, some teams don't have an answer to Registeel either. Next, we are up against Metal Jones. And Jones is going to lead with a Venusaur. So they are going to switch into Typhlosion. And this is a pretty easy switch into Lapras here for me. I don't really want to line up Lapras against the Venusaur. Both of my other Pokemon line up spectacularly against the Venusaur. And this lets me take out the Typhlosion. Um, I will take a lot of damage from these Blast Burns, so I'm going to go ahead and shield this Blast Burn and then try to farm this Typhlosion down so that I can use an Ice Beam on the Venusaur. They actually get off a second Blast Burn though, so I have used up both of my shields. I can now pressure the Venusaur and I go for an Ice Beam here. Maybe could have gone for Surf as a bait, but then they actually try to farm me down, so I'm able to get off a second Ice Beam and claim their second shield. So we are even now in shields, and I decide to go into my Giratina. And I could have gone into my Registeel here. I'm not super sure which one would have been better. But then when they show me their Registeel, I say, all right, well... I gotta switch over into my Registeel now. I know I'm going to take a Focus Blast. I know I'm gonna take two Focus Blasts. I'm gonna hit them with mine right here and then they are going to fire back with another Focus Blast for themselves. But I think I have to do this because I really don't wanna line up Giratina up against this Registeel. Uh, the Giratina does have a lot of energy left over so I am able to take this Registeel down. And honestly, it probably would have been fine either way, uh, but I just wanted to take the safe approach here. So now my opponent is going to get a Frenzy Plant off against me, but I should be able to get to a Dragon Claw before they get to another Frenzy Plant, and that combined with the damage from Shadow Claw should be just enough to take Venusaur out. Uh, so there's my second Dragon Claw, and they've got a little bit of life left, but one or two more Shadow Claws will take them down. In this game, our Giratina is up against a Registeel lead, and like I said, I don't really love it being up against a Registeel, so what I will probably try to do is catch a Flash Cannon on my own Registeel, and that's exactly what happens. So I've wasted a bunch of my opponent's Registeel's energy, but they will now be able to match my switch if they would like to. So they fire off a Focus Blast here, and something was off about that. I didn't think that they had enough energy, uh, but then my opponent switches to an Armored Mewtwo, so I'm going to fire off a few Flash Cannons at their Armored Mewtwo, and this can be a little bit scary now, because my opponent has a Registeel, 
um, they are going to fire off a Psy Strike. Um, so that will waste a little bit of their Mewtwo's energy, and hopefully I can take this Mewtwo down. But it is scary now that my opponent has a Registeel with some energy loaded up that I don't really have a great way to answer. Now, obviously, we do still have our shields here, but I'm going to have to use these shields and battle with this Registeel. The one thing that we do have going for us is that we did waste a bunch of my opponent's energy by switching to the Registeel, and then we were able to get a little bit of energy ourselves by battling up against the Mewtwo. So we were able to take a little bit of an energy lead by switching off of that leading matchup, and now my opponent is uh, having to use shields here to protect their Registeel. We're going to double shield on these flash cannons, and then my opponent is going to switch out to Giratina, and I'm going to fire off a Dragon Claw, see if I can get their last shield before bringing in Lapras. Now, Lapras is going to die pretty quickly to Registeel, but Lapras is going to deal a ton of damage to Giratina. So this is a pretty even matchup by me and my opponent. I would say they won the lead. Um, and then we have Lapras to their Mewtwo, and Mewtwo does line up well against Lapras, but despite them winning the lead and having um, a Pokemon that beats us in the heads up, I think we were able to get the W here, and I'm going to farm a little bit on this Registeel before firing off a Surf. And that's going to take out the Registeel. And then I go for a Surf. I, I didn't realize I was going to be able to make it to an Ice Beam. My, my HP was just so low there. We actually get a Times Up in that one. But I definitely would have won if I just fired off that Ice Beam. And I was still going to win that game regardless. Next, we are going to look at my Giratina against Gyarados. And Gyarados is one of my favorite Pokemon in the Ultra League. Made a bunch of videos on Gyarados last season and one of the reasons I really like Lapras is because Lapras is able to beat Gyarados. Now I don't like that matchup enough to switch into it so I'm just going to go ahead and play this out with my Giratina here and one of the reasons or one of the benefits of being so familiar with Gyarados is I know that it will lose the two shield scenario to Giratina. Giratina just generates energy and fires out its charge moves much faster. So we are going to go into the two shields. My opponent actually two shields first, but this Dragon Claw is going to be able to take out the Gyarados, and then they bring in Empoleon, and I will be able to Shadow Sneak this Empoleon, and we deal a pretty decent amount of damage to it before I go into my Registeel. Uh, from here, they are going to fire off a Hydro Cannon before switching into Swampert, and then I will meet that switch by switching into Lapras. So, looks like the opponent is a man after my own heart, running triple waters in the Ultra League, which I definitely think is possible, and Empoleon can definitely do it too. Lapras, though, is really strong against Swampert. It can just hit me for not very effective damage with the Hydro Cannons, and then super effective damage, or not super effective, neutral damage with the Earthquake. The Earthquake takes me out, but it uses up a lot of energy, and then I am able to go back into Registeel. I am going to take a Hydro Cannon here from the Empoleon, but this Focus Blast will easily take the Empoleon down from here. Uh, so there we go. Uh, this team defeating Triple Waters, Lapras defeating Gyarados Season 2 is here. Now we're going to look at my game against El Campeon SC, and they are leading with Machamp. So this is a really, really good matchup for me. They're going to switch into Empoleon, though. And I just thought this player used Empoleon super well, uh, so I wanted to highlight this battle. Obviously, I don't want my Registeel to line up against Machamp, so I switch into my Registeel now uh, just to kind of get it out of the way, and this will also get both of my opponent's shields here. I will have to shield this Registeel um, for the Hydro Cannon so that I can fire off a second Focus Blast, but we're going to get both of my opponent's shields, but we're kind of playing into my opponent's hand. They switch into Machamp as soon as they can, and I am able to just barely switch back into Giratina and catch that Cross Chop, so that is actually pretty huge. 
and we're able to deal a ton of damage to Machamp here with these Dragon Claws. I think I can farm the Machamp down, but it is able to get off one final Rock Slide on my Giratina before it goes, and then they bring in Clefable. So now uh, they've, they've taken out my Registeel. They've basically reduced my Registeel to only a sliver of health. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to get to a Flash Cannon on that Registeel. It's going to be super close. So I waited out here for a second, then go into the Registeel, and my opponent immediately switches into Empoleon, which can double resist this Flash Cannon. So they totally ate up my Flash Cannon. My Registeel is gone. But we got Lapras, and we got Lapras with a shield. I don't shield this move, and it is a flash cannon again. Uh, so this Empoleon is doing a lot of work. I don't know why I said again. Uh, it's just a big, hard-hitting flash cannon. They aren't going to be able to get to a second flash cannon, though. Uh, so I am going to be able to take out this Empoleon with Surf, and then the Clefable comes in and it does fire off a Moonblast. I think this was maybe even a mistake. They should have just tried to charm farm me down. I'm not sure it really mattered, and I don't even think I had to use Ice Beam here. I think a Surf would have taken out the Clefable too, but we are able to get that win. That was a super close battle. I just thought that Empoleon player played that very well, so I wanted to showcase that game. Next up, we are up against Xiao, and they are going to be leading with Giratina as well. So I'm going to switch into Lapras to catch this first Dragon Claw. A lot of teams, and this is basically one of the cruxes of this team, a lot of teams with Giratina leads don't really have the means to punish a Lapper switch. You'd think Registeel, but a lot of people just aren't running Giratina lead plus Registeel in the back for whatever reason right now. So we switch into Lapras. My opponent does have a different Steel type Pokemon in Empoleon, but having just played against another Empoleon, I know to shield these Flash Cannons, then I'm going to switch back into Giratina. And this Shadow Sneak will prompt a shield from my opponent here because they got a bunch of energy, and then they're going to switch over into Granbull. Now, Gramble's a pretty tricky Pokemon. It will be able to farm my Giratina down and then have fighting type moves to threaten my two other Pokemon. So Gramble can be pretty scary. And after thinking for a second, I decide to go into Lapras, shield the Gramble, because then I can farm it down with my fast move. Registeel probably would have been able to do that too, but it would have been a little bit tricky. So they go for a Hydro Cannon on my Lapras for whatever reason, because it looks like they had a bunch of energy. They could have Flash Cannon my Lapras, but maybe they just got a little bit greedy there. Uh, so we got into Registeel, took the second Hydro Cannon, and now we are Registeel up against Giratina. I'd love to line my Lapras up against their Giratina, and we are going to get to a... Uh, a flash cannon here. My opponent is going to get off one more shadow sneak, but my opponent actually really wants to farm me down here, and that is super important because if they just kill off my Giratina, then we get to go into Lapras, farm them down, and then just double surf their Empoleon. So instead, they just let my Registeel kill their Giratina. They were a little bit unsure of what to do. And then I just switch into Lapras and I double surf their Empoleon regardless. So my opponent really wanted to get that Giratina lined up against the Lapras actually in the end and Dragon Claw it, but it just wasn't going to happen. My Lapras had a ton of energy left over. Next, we're gonna look at a game up against Taka Takashi and they are leading with Articuno. So this Articuno is going to make me switch into Lapras immediately. That's one of the reasons I like Lapras is that it is actually good against the other ice type Pokemon, Articuno. Then they switch into Polyrath though immediately afterwards and this is a really tricky spot for my team. Losing the lead to an Ice type Pokemon and then a Fighting type Pokemon in the back can be pretty scary and I really don't have any great answers to Polyrath on this team. So I'm going to let the Polyrath take my Lapras out with the Dynamic Punch. 
but the Polyrath even has some extra energy, and these Ice Punches are also going to be hitting my Giratina super hard. So I'm going to go ahead and take another Ice Punch here, and then I believe I will fire out a Dragon Claw, and I uh, I undertap it a little bit. That's what I thought. Um, so that I can try to farm down this Polyrath. And you can see I was just a little bit off. So the Polyrath is going to be able to get another Ice Punch off on me. I will have the ability to double Dragon Claw with this Giratina. But I'm going to go ahead and switch into Registeel. Now the main reason I switch into Registeel is this Icy Wind. I know that this is going to debuff my attack and I wanna have the chance to switch back into Giratina later to remove that attack debuff. Now my opponent's last Pokemon is Registeel. This is pretty good for us here. Um, the reason this is so good is I am super ahead in energy by switching to Registeel first and then my opponent using that Icy Wind. So I go for a Flash Cannon bait here that my opponent has to shield, and then I'm going to switch into Giratina as soon as my switch timer is up and eat one of my opponent's Focus Blasts. So now I am just super, super ahead on energy, and I even have an additional shield from just using Giratina as a shield there. So we are able to take out the Reggie Steel. We, we are going to shield a Flash Cannon here, and then my opponent goes into Articuno. Um, so we still have a little bit of work to finish this game out, but the fact that the Flash Cannon leaves Articuno with just that sliver of health remaining means that now I get to farm it down, and then I will be able to immediately Focus Blast my opponent's Reggie Steel and finish off the match. So there you go, lost the lead, two fighting type Pokemon in the back. I count Registeel as a fighting type with that Focus Blast, but we were still able to find the win with this team. So now we are up against a Swampert lead, and this is a good leading matchup for us here with Giratina. So when we go for this Dragon Claw, they switch into Registeel, and that is a really clutch switch on their part. I now switch into Registeel of my own because I don't want Registeel to line up against Swampert, but my opponent's Registeel is up against us in energy. They are, they are beating us in energy. So we trade unshielded Focus Blasts here, and then I am going to shield my opponent's second Focus Blast. And because we hit them with that Dragon Claw, they are actually already in the red. So now I can just go for unshielded flash cannons here and my opponent is going to have to let that go through but it is just not enough my opponent swampert is going to get in and hydro cannon us before we are able to kill them here so we go back into giratina could have gone into lapras which would have revealed my team uh, but both of my remaining pokemon are good against swampert i'm thinking my opponent's last pokemon decent chance it's a giratina so let's just go ahead and keep my Giratina in, and then I'll have my Lapras for their Giratina. As we can see here now, it is an armored Mewtwo, so I decide to leave Lapras for Swampert and just Shadow Sneak this guy. I will go for a Dragon Claw bait here. It doesn't wind up mattering, but I'm going to save my Lapras for their Swampert, and I'm going to take some, some Psy Strikes here from this Mewtwo, uh, and I will fire off a Shadow Sneak, which basically makes this Mewtwo dead. Uh, they will use a Psy Strike to finish us off here, though. So then I go back into my Lapras. They immediately switch into Swampert rather than letting me farm them down. And I decide to just farm down this Swampert here. The only way I lose is if they get off two Earthquakes. And I didn't think they'd be able to get to Earthquakes if I just went straight Ice Shard. So we take down their Swampert. And at this point, I've got enough energy on my Lapras that I can fire off two back-to-back -back Surfs. So I just do that rather than going for my fast moves here. So we were able to get that win despite their Reggie Steel beating us on energy. And that is something you do have to watch out for with this team is it's not actually great against a Reggie Steel 
and when Registeel is beating you in energy, things can get a little bit dicey. Luckily for us, though, that Dragon Claw damage actually did add up and allowed us to take the victory in that battle. For this game, we are up against a Cresselia lead, and this is not a leading matchup that you want to be in with this team, so we are going to fire off a Shadow Sneak, and then I'm going to switch into Registeel and try to catch my opponent's Moonblast. So that works out there pretty well for us. Most players will fire off Moonblast immediately because of that chance of the attack debuff. Uh, and then my opponent switches into Swampert, which is obviously really good against Registeel. So we're going to hit them with a Focus Blast and we are going to shield and hope that this is Earthquake, hope that we are losing a lot of their energy here, and it is. Uh, so then I actually decide to bait, and this is a pretty big moment in the match because my opponent doesn't shield. So I could have just KO'd their Swamp right there. Instead, I use my second shield to shield this Earthquake, and then I go back into Giratina. Now, I think this is an equally big moment in the match and a huge mistake from my opponent. They could have gone into Cresselia here. I don't have any shields. They do. They could have gone into Cresselia, which is going to line up poorly against Registeel, but instead they go into Gyarados, which have, would have lined up well against Registeel. So we are going to take a decent amount of damage from this Gyarados, but now we might have a more favorable matchup later against their Cresselia. So now we go into Lapras against the tail end of this Gyarados, and they will be able to get off a healthy crunch, but we are able to farm the Gyarados down. Uh, then, of course, they're going to go into Cresselia now. I'm going to fire off a Surf on their Cresselia, and then I believe I'm going to switch into Registeel and try to hit the Moonblast again, uh, but they switch into Swampert here. They don't fire off the Moonblast, don't fall for the same trick twice. Uh, they go to Swampert, they shield my Flash Cannon, and then they Earthquake my Registeel. So I am able to farm their Swampert down now with my Lapras, and then my Lapras should be able to take out this Cresselia. Cresselia does have a lot of energy here, though, but they'll only be able to get to one Moonblast, and then I will be able to beat them to a Surf. So this was a pretty, pretty close game that I was able to win despite losing the lead. I think my opponent made some mistakes, but I thought that was a really cool game to show off regardless there. And for the last battle of this video, let's take a look at a Giratina Ditto matchup. We are up against a Shiny Giratina, and we know from the last video, Shiny Giratinas have Dragon Breath. So we switch into Lapras, and my opponent is going to fire off an Ancient Power on my Lapras, so that was pretty surprising, using some old tech there. Then they switch into a Scavalier. Honestly, I think that Ancient Power throw probably hurt them more than helped them, because they wasted a lot of Giratina's energy, but they go into a Scavalier. I have a bunch of energy on my Lapras, so I'm actually able to get one of their shields uh, despite Lap I mean, and that's why Lapras is such a good safe switch here. I'll now be able to fire off another Surf, and they will be able to clear off my Lapras, but I've cleared off both of their shields, so that is pretty fantastic. My opponent, uh, I go into Giratina, so they switch into Snorlax, so I go into Registeel. I don't want to line up Registeel against Scavalier, and I don't really want my Giratina to be up against a Snorlax either, and they don't have any shields, so I know I'm going to be able to connect with these Focus Blasts. All I have to do is shield my opponent's Earthquakes, and I don't think that this is another Earthquake, but I decide to shield anyways, uh, just to be on the safe side, because I do think I am pretty far ahead right now. I am able to take this Swampert down, and this is Scavalier is going to be able to deal some damage to us, but then I switch back into Giratina, and I go for the Shadow Sneak, but my opponent switches back into their Giratina. As we can remember though, I've built up a bunch of energy now on my Giratina and my opponent wasted all of their energy firing off an Ancient Power. So I'm going to let them get off one Dragon Claw against me and then just save a bunch of my energy so that I can Shadow Sneak my opponent's Escavalier. So that battle was a great highlight to show off the power of Lapras as a safe switch, I really felt there. My opponent made some weird moves there with the Ancient Power, weird moves really, with Ancient Power 
power on Giratina still, but I, I do think that that really showcased the strength of Lapras in Season 2, firing off those surfs on Escavalier and making one of its top counters double shield it. So really good showing there from this team. I think this team is super, super strong in this season. As evidenced, it's got me a lot of rating points, rank 9, longest streak, all of that. I'm also going to be using this team in the Ultra League portion of the Game Press Go Battle League Gauntlet. So if you're not already familiar with the Game Press Go Battle League Gauntlet, I've got some other videos on my channel explaining exactly what that is. And I'm going to be rocking this team in the Ultra League, so that should be a lot of fun. And I will have some of that Ultra League content coming up for you guys shortly. Make sure you subscribe and stay tuned if you want to see those. Those should be a lot of fun. But that is going to be it for me today for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'm No Lux Given. Peace.